Hey everybody, this is Ben and welcome to another episode of my Kerbal Career in Kerbal Space Program. Today I am going to be building a big old rocket, um, relatively speaking, and I am trying to decide if I should shoot, I think I'm going to shoot for the moon, I think. We'll see, I mean, I'll look at this, I got all kinds of more stuff from my uh, research, all my science is, is serving me well. Um, I've got a big solid booster. Um, I almost would like a docking port at this point. Um, oh, I got the radial shoots. So let's throw some science stuff on first of all. Get the shoot. Uh, get my science. And I like. Um, I like the uh, the positioning I had this uh, antenna on. I suppose I could load up my other other rocket and just edit that. Let's actually do that. Space Reacher one. Let's do that. There we go. That way, I mean, we've got all the basics on here. Um, just a few tweaks are necessary. So uh, one of the biggest tweaks quote unquote tweaks is figuring out if that's enough fuel to get back from the moon and I'm a little skeptical so I want to put that on there instead um, on my staging I learned that uh, this rocket was taken off as I had said like a bat out of hell <laughs> so we want to split these stages up so that one is there. That engine is part of that one. So that means these go up into that stage. That should be it. And then the other thing is squeeze some more fuel in here. Oh, actually, let me take a look. I don't need to have such so powerful an engine. 215, 200, 50. So, okay, yeah, so that's... That's what I want for... First... Uh, out of... Uh, out Interplanetary... Tra for space travel. For maneuvering in space. Uh, thrust vectoring. Oh, but I, I forgot that. I have, I have winglets. I should use some winglets. Because why the heck not? Great, winglets. Uh, how much mass do those add? Tiny, tiny, minuscule amount. Great. Um, should I... Ooh. Uh, should I squeeze some more fuel onto these? Let's, let's give it a try. We're all in... Uh, we're all about experimentation here in in uh, Kerbal Space Center. Great. And this one needs to be... Moon... Shot... Moon Shot 1? Moon, moon Shot? That sounds weird. Let's go with Moon Reacher. Just like we did with Space Reacher. Moon Reacher. That sounds pretty good. Um, now, there's a few things I'm still missing, of course. Uh, like landing struts for this top portion of the rocket. Look at these beautiful landing struts. My gosh. So, if I set those there I I'm not I don't know what these struts look like or what they do or or indeed anything about them <laughs> it may have originally it may have been originally designed as a heavy-duty metal detector but this landing link certainly emphasizes an important fact in surface landing so you don't need to put a crater in the ground to stop yourself <laughs> all right new landing legs nice 
Um, so, oh, and the other thing I need... Oh, I don't have any ladders, do I? So, I guess I don't need those. <laughs> uh, good reason not to make this sucker too tall. Let's actually move my landing legs, uh, stagger them around the uh, perimeter a little bit more. Do like so, so I have room to jump up there if need be. <laughs> All right, so I think that should do it for the science and landing portion. Fingers quite dubiously crossed that this will work. Um, so I don't need any of those. I've got my antenna. I've got my pods. I've got all of that stuff looks good nothing there I put on the smaller engine oh I was gonna thinking about putting some solid boosters around to further increase the uh, the likelihood of my reaching the moon so let's see which you're the first two Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Let's do it. What are we what are we what are we waiting for? So the first oh what's Oh that's what I'm holding, duh. Okay, so you're the first two, so that means I think I'd probably want the first two boosters to be Anya. And there. And let's grab the big booster. Because why not? I mean, really, really, why not? So that couplers and then those engines. Um, mm hmm, mm hmm, okay. And then accept that. Let's just do it all the way around. Overbuilding. That's how I that's how I roll. There we go. So you and you. I mean this is way too much thrust in these boosters. What do these things give me? 315. Yeah, that's that's a ton. <laughs> so that one. Those first, these second, and then those second, so those go right into there, and then let's move that stage back into here so we've got a nice continuous thrust, okay. <laughs> Um, I almost feel like I should rename this thing like pile of explosives <laughs> mark one um, but let's go for it because we want to reach the moon and we have no idea what that takes <laughs> uh, sunset launch looks nice um, I'll, I'll throttle up for now but there's not even a, a liquid fuel engine for a couple of stages so Cross your fingers for good old test pilot Jeb here. And three, two, one. Ah, ah. Uh oh. Abort, abort. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Now what? Abort. <laughs> um, yeah, let's revert to launch. Why not? Jebediah has returned from the dead. <laughs> Whew. Good for you, Jeb. I, I'm hoping you'll be able to retire from this, actually. <laughs> so, 
Clearly our staging needs a little rethinking. Um, but mainly I'm just going to have this thing start out on its solid boosters there. All right, and again. Lift off in three, two, one. Yikes, almost forgot to turn my SAS on. Don't spin now. Or go ahead and spin. What what the heck? It's gotta be these solid boosters that are just <laughs> Okay, that's that's a bad direction we're going. Why are we going that way? What is happening? Okay, we're losing those suckers. Come on, let's let's get this back. Urgh. Come on, come on. I have winglets. Those are not moving. Why are they called winglets if they aren't moving? I thought that was... Canards did that. I thought winglets were the ones that moved. Yeah, we're, we're going literally sideways at this point. Um, I like the abort button. Like, actually kind of aborted. Yeah, we're we're going down. This is this is this is in inadvisable. Um, I mean, this is just really not gonna get us into space. <laughs> well, let's see what we can do. Science. I don't know if it's these winglets or or what, but this thing is really behaving more unstably than it usually does. That it has the last couple of launches, in fact. Okay, there, SAS is on. Hey there, SAS, I am pushing you the other way. Let's rotate. <laughs> okay, that's a full-on abort. It's like missiles getting launched. Nice. Yeah, this thing just has no control whatsoever. Huh. Of course, now it appears that Jeb is flying a missile. Whoa. Whoa, Jeb. Whoa. How are we? Okay, there we go. Looking good. Easily coming down safely on this one. All right, well. Oh, do I have to uh, reset? Observe, great. Yeah, whatever, we'll keep it. Get a little bit of science out of this anyway. And crew report. What the heck, we'll just keep it. I don't care. I don't need to send it back right now. Hmm. Got the chute coming out. Woo, lots of Gs there. Sorry, Jeb, I should have popped that chute a little earlier. But, uh, just get you on down into the water. Close up my goo. And, uh, we're gonna try this sucker uh, without the solid boosters, probably. Yay! Recover. At least you didn't die this time, Jeb. 
Now see, that's not what it said. <laughs> Crew port, cover vessel that survived a flight. What exactly do I need to transmit the data from those goo pods? Or I don't understand what's going on with that. My goo was reporting that I was getting more science than that. But uh, that's okay. So, back to the drawing board. Uh -huh. It appears that I am no good with solid boosters. So let's get rid of those. And there we've got just the liquid stuff. Ah, uh, moon is clearly Moon Reacher 2. Um, so let's just let's launch. Let's just test see if this will will make it off the launch pad. I need to I am so missing my Kerbal engineer. I would love to be able to like do the math to figure this kind of stuff out, but oh well. So test in three, two, one. Just Barely, but I think that might do. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> That's pitiful. Yeah, now we're finally starting to pick up speed. So that uh, delta V in that first stage is really slim, or the the thrust to weight ratio is real, real narrow merge in there. Picking up speed though. Um, hmm. I'm not sure if it was worth the way in the, which I staged this, but we shall see. I mean, the next stage is definitely going to get a pretty good leg up as a result, so I think this is going to work out. No, let me check. Alright, just about done with the first stage. Uh, not very much altitude at all. Stage, second stage, there we go. Dropped a whole bunch of mass. Let's just get myself a tiny angle. It seems like my uh, prograde is, is a weirdly off-centered. Um, might just be, might just be me, but uh, I'm, I'm a little picky about that kind of thing. So uh, let's do what crew report. Yeah, we've done that one already. Well, whatever. Crew report. Yeah, why not? Throttle back a bit here, We're going pretty quick. 10k, let's gravity turn it on over. 10, 20, 30 degrees. Come on, stay there. Wow. Okay. How are we doing? 20 kilometers. Okay, and we're nearly out of this stage, which is a tad sooner than I'd have liked. But hey, we're gonna keep going. We can do this. What the heck was that noise? <laughs> That sounded really bad. <laughs> so anyway, we are up to 40 kilometers on our apoapsis, and we're out of the thickest portion of the atmosphere, so let's keep gravity turning. As I uh, was browsing around on the XKCD, um, you know, go looking through some old comics, a little bit older comics a while ago, and uh, he, he pointed out on there that getting to space, the getting to space isn't the, the problem. 
Um, it's, it's staying in space, and it's all got to do with the horizontal velocity. And that's why you want a gravity turn and get yourself over kind of kind of early as you can really is is reasonable as soon as you're you're out of this bottom portion of the atmosphere you're pretty free to gravity turn wow there's a lot of oscillation happening here pretty anyway i was saying you're pretty free to gravity turn as as you like at least in my limited Kerbal Space Program experience. Now, stay there, SAS is on, SAS is on. 85, all right, looks good. Oh man, am I gonna have enough in that top stage to get to the moon and back? I don't know, we might have a Jeb stuck on the moon type situation here. Let's add a maneuver. Nope. Just make that circular. 85 seems like a pretty good place to me. 88, 84, 81, 86, 97, yikes, no. 87, we wanna get that to just about 85. Yeah, it's not rising anymore, that's the thing. <laughs> there we go. We'll leave that there. We will um, wish for some light, let's be honest. So while we're waiting for this uh, node, which is actually coming up very quickly, but I just want to mention I have finally figured out what the heck goes on where my uh, Kerbal Space Program videos go all choppy. And it seems to be almost certainly, I've done a few episodes here now in a row, um, when I'm transitioning from the VAB out to launch a rocket, that scene transition seems to really screw up, uh, s screw up my recording, so that basically, as long as I can remember to stop and then restart my recording, whenever I do that, I think this everything should work just fine. <laughs> um, I'm not sure why that happens, but uh, the way Kerbal's bros, Kerbal's, let's let's just uh, pay attention to my node for a sec here. <laughs> so anyway, the way Kerbal Space Program does that transition must uh, just be introducing some weirdness. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Come on, you can make it. You can make this. You can make this. Bingo. And that's we got 85 and 96. Way, way further than I intended to go. But that's okay. So let's go ahead and set as target. Oh, look at that. Look at that inclination. 0.1 degrees. Nice. So, I think this is a good point to go ahead and cut off this episode uh, just because of my fail launch. I don't want this one to get too long, so definitely join me when I next time try to at least reach the moon. Perhaps I can transmit some of this science back home, even if I can't get uh, Jeb off at the time. Um, I, I will come back for him later once, you know, civilization advances in a couple hundred years. They'll have, you know, much better rocket technology. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It'll be like three days and they'll have like amazingly better technology. They, they move quick, these Kerbals. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode.